Riemannian geometry is the branch of differential geometry that studies Riemannian manifolds, smooth manifolds with a Riemannian metric, i.e., with an inner product on the tangent space at each point that varies smoothly from point to point. This gives, in particular, local notions of angle, length of curves, surface area, and volume. From those some other global quantities can be derived by integrating local contributions. Riemannian geometry originated with the vision of Bernhard Riemann expressed in his inaugurational lecture Über die Hypothesen, Welcher der Geometry zu Grundlegen. It is a very broad and abstract generalization of the differential geometry of surfaces in R3. Development of Riemannian geometry resulted in synthesis of diverse results concerning the geometry of surfaces and the behavior of geodesics on them with techniques that can be applied to the study of differentiable manifolds of higher dimensions. It enabled Einstein's general relativity theory, made profound impact on group theory and representation theory, as well as analysis, and spurred the development of algebraic and differential topology. Introduction Riemannian geometry was first put forward in generality by Bernhard Riemann in the 19th century. It deals with a broad range of geometries whose metric properties vary from point to point, including the standard types of non-Euclidean geometry. Any smooth manifold admits a Riemannian metric, which often helps to solve problems of differential topology. It also serves as an entry level for the more complicated structure of pseudo-Riemannian manifolds, which are the main objects of the theory of general relativity. Other generalizations of Riemannian geometry include Finsler geometry. There exists a close analogy of differential geometry with the mathematical structure of defects in regular crystals. Dislocations and disclinations produce torsions and curvature. The following articles provide some useful introductory material. Metric tensor, Riemannian manifold, levi Civita connection, curvature, curvature tensor, list of differential geometry topics. Glossary of Riemannian and Metric Geometry Classical Theorems in Riemannian Geometry What follows is an incomplete list of the most classical theorems in Riemannian Geometry. The choice is made depending on its importance, beauty, and simplicity of formulation. Most of the results can be found in the classic monograph by Def Cheeger and D. Ebin. The formulations given are far from being very exact or the most general. This list is oriented to those who already know the basic definitions and want to know what these definitions are about. General theorems Gauss Bonnet theorem The integral of the Gauss curvature on a compact two-dimensional Riemannian manifold is equal to 2 pi chi where chi denotes the Euler characteristic of M. This theorem has a generalization to any compact even-dimensional Riemannian manifold. See generalized gauss bonnet theorem. Nash embedding theorems also called fundamental theorems of Riemannian geometry. They state that every Riemannian manifold can be isometrically embedded in a Euclidean space Rn. Geometry in large in all of the following theorems we assume some local behavior of the space to derive some information about the global structure of the space, including either some information on the topological type of the manifold or on the behavior of points at sufficiently large distances. Pinched sectional curvature sphere theorem. If M is a simply connected compact n-dimensional Riemannian manifold with sectional curvature strictly pinched between one quarter and one, then M is diffeomorphic to a sphere. Chiga's finiteness theorem. Given constants C, D, and V, there are only finitely many compact n-dimensional Riemannian manifolds with sectional curvature K, C diameter d and volume v. Gromov's almost flat manifolds. There is an epsilon n greater than zero such that if an n-dimensional Riemannian manifold has a metric with sectional curvature k, epsilon n and diameter 1 then it's finite. Cover is diffeomorphic to a nil manifold. 
sectional curvature bounded below chiga gromoll's sol theorem. If M is a non-compact complete non-negatively curved n-dimensional Riemannian manifold, then M contains a compact totally geodesic submanifold S such that M is diffeomorphic to the normal bundle of S in particular. If M has strictly positive curvature everywhere, then it is diffeomorphic to Rn. G. Perelman in 1994 gave an astonishingly elegant short proof of the sole conjecture. M is diffeomorphic to Rn if it has positive curvature at only one point. Gromov's Betty number theorem. There is a constant C equals C such that if M is a compact connected n-dimensional Riemannian manifold with positive sectional curvature, then the sum of its Betty numbers is at most C. Grove Peterson's finiteness theorem. Given constants C, D and V, there are only finitely many homotopy types of compact n-dimensional Riemannian manifolds with sectional curvature Kc, diameter D and volume V. Sectional curvature bounded above the carton hadamard theorem states that a complete simply connected Riemannian manifold M with non-positive sectional curvature is diffeomorphic to the Euclidean space Rn with n equals dim M via the exponential map at any point. It implies that any two points of a simply connected complete Riemannian manifold with non-positive sectional curvature are joined by a unique geodesic. The geodesic flow of any compact Riemannian manifold with negative sectional curvature is ergodic. If M is a complete Riemannian manifold with sectional curvature bounded above by a strictly negative constant K then it is a cat space. Consequently, its fundamental group gamma equals pi 1 is grom of hyperbolic. This has many implications for the structure of the fundamental group. It is finitely presented. The word problem for gamma has a positive solution. The group gamma has finite virtual cohomological dimension. It contains only finitely many conjugacy classes of elements of finite order. The abelian subgroups of gamma are virtually cyclic, so that it does not contain a subgroup isomorphic to Z times Z. Richer curvature bounded below Myers' theorem. If a compact Riemannian manifold has positive Richer curvature then its fundamental group is finite. Splitting theorem. If a complete n-dimensional Riemannian manifold has non-negative Richer curvature and a straight line then it is isometric to a direct product of the real line and a complete dimensional Riemannian manifold that has non-negative Richer curvature. Bishop Grom of inequality. The volume of a metric ball of radius R in a complete n-dimensional Riemannian manifold with positive Richer curvature has volume at most that of the volume of a ball of the same radius R in Euclidean space. Gromov's compactness theorem. The set of all Riemannian manifolds with positive Richer curvature and diameter at most D is pre-compact in the gromov hausdorff metric. Negative Richer curvature, the isometry group of a compact Riemannian manifold with negative Richer curvature is discrete. Any smooth manifold of dimension N3 admits some Riemannian metric with negative Richer curvature. Positive scalar curvature, the n-dimensional torus does not admit a metric with positive scalar curvature. If the injectivity radius of a compact n-dimensional Riemannian manifold is pi then the average scalar curvature is at most n. Literature. Carrot Kleinert, Hagen. Gauge fields in condensed matter volume 2. 7431440. Carrot Kleinert, Hagen. Multivalued fields in condensed matter, electromagnetism, and gravitation. 1 to 496. Carat Wikim Locamp has shown that any manifold of dimension greater than 2 admits a metric of negative Richer curvature.